people who believe in star signs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right? fucking weird. No, I'm not debunking anything, but that's based in science. So there'll be so th right, you know but the full moon's yeah. got something today with it. Yeah. You weren't embarrassing me. On, in public. Oh, that was right. Yeah, that was annoying. And then we I nearly. Was we, right, hold I was trying on. to hold some conversation hold, with you. I was hold getting on. nothing. No, she's right. Yeah. I'm with the Karens of the world, <laughs> not the racist ones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers. Cheers. Welcome back to In Sickness and In Health. <laughs> Don't laugh at me straight away. <laughs> well, just I love when you try and make this sound as if it's going to be exciting. Well, I like to try and kick off with some kind right. of okay. fake energy. Okay, go on. Uh, the, this is the podcast where we talk about all the nitty gritty details in marriage and relationships as we find out the non negotiables, the things you absolutely couldn't put up with in, in sickness, sickness and, and in, in health. health. Each week we'll discuss a topic and on some occasions we'll be joined by a guest who can give us an insight into their deal breakers and things they could not put up with in a relationship. And don't forget that you can get stuck in uh, by participating in polls and sending us messages at In Sickness and In Health podcast. Oh, or you can send us your voice notes and messages so we've got an email address. Here we go. Look at us. God, it's the 90s all over again. We are important. We've got an email address here. I-S-A-I-H. Which stands for? In sickness and in health. Yeah. But don't put in sickness and in health because it no, won't reach it's us. I-S-A-I-H. At spirit dash. Is that a dash? Yep. Studios.com. Simple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Really easy. <laughs> Um, if you do like this podcast, leave us a little review. If you don't like it, just move on. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Right. So are you just not saying tolerate anymore then? No. I notice you just keep changing that to yeah, put couldn't up with, put up with. Yeah. Right. I don't think I, I don't think tolerate is in my lexicon. It's all right. I don't think it's, it, it's a word I'd love to hear you trying for. to say tolerate once you've had a few beers. Well, wait till the, I'll say it again at the end of this podcast. Okay. Cheers. Um, oh. Cheers. Let me grab my beer. On, there you go. I've already downed half of it. Cheers. How are you, Claire? I'm all right. Mm. How are you? Mm. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, really good. I don't know. No, I, yeah. Am I good? I don't know. That was just a yeah, generic, really good, yeah. <laughs> generic answer. You do have to say that, though. Anytime you meet somebody, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm all right. Really good. Oh, dying yeah. inside that's it yeah you Every hate the, your life everything's the gone world. wrong everything everything's gone wrong how are you great thanks yeah yeah um i was uh <laughs> i was i was taking harrison to school today and um the word we was listening to the radio and the word quasar come up quasar yeah i've never heard of that now when i was a kid there was a place in essex called quasar and i don't know whether it was a a chain but it was laser tag. Right. And it was called Quasar. And you know, I've got all these stories of me as a kid, like sort of primary school age, sort of six, seven, eight, nine. Right. They make me sound like some sort of lost, little, little lost orphan. urchin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was going, oh, Quasar. That used to be a laser tag thing when I was growing up. Right. And I told Harrison a story of um, this is how unpopular I was at school. <laughs> My mate had a party. Right. At this laser tag place, mm. and um, I went. I was invited. Couldn't believe my luck. Oh, brilliant! And we're, we're all playing laser tag, and everyone's shooting everyone else, and da da da. da. And I'm shooting a load of people, and um, come to the end, right? Where everyone gets their score. Yeah. Who comes up on top? You. Me. Because I think you get. You, maybe you get. It would a have point. been rubbish if it wasn't you. The way you, the way you set that well, up. Well, let me there. tell you. So I ended up winning. So I think you got a point for shooting someone, and you lose a point if you get shot. Right. Yeah. And all that had happened was was that because I was thought of so little, <laughs> everyone was trying to shoot their mates. Basically, right. no one was shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> It was like, oh, and who's James? James has won. And everyone was like, oh, I forgot. It. Yeah, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was just walking around because no one wanted to shoot me. And I was like, oh, I got, I got James. Like, no one, <laughs> Nobody no cared. No, no one cared. Nobody cared. Nobody no. even shot me. <laughs> <laughs> I was just shooting, <laughs> shooting everyone. Um, what do you want, James? Do you want sympathy for me? I do, yeah. 
I do. I got another one of those little stories from when I was a kid as well. Go on. To try and make you feel sorry for me. Um, I got sent to the corner during class. I don't know what I did. Yeah, I got, remember that. Got, you had to stand in the corner. I had to stand in the corner and face the corner. Yeah. And then the teacher opened the door. The corner was next to the door. Right. And the teacher opened the door. So I was so you were enclosed the door. Yeah. in this sort of little triangle yeah. of yeah. punishment. Yeah. And then it was lunchtime and the teacher <laughs> sent every... The teacher <laughs> forgot I was behind the door, <gasps> sent everyone out for lunch. It got to a point where I had to go, hello. Like I was there for so long. And um, another teacher found me. I was like, what are you doing there? I went, well, I got put in the corner and I think she just forgot about me or something. She closed the door on me. Wow. And they were like, right, we need to, have you had any lunch or anything? Yeah. I was like, no, I've been here for about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jude. Not that Jude would ever be sent to the corner. No. But Jude wouldn't say anything. No, if, I see, didn't. If, that is, if that was me or Harrison. They'd go, oh, what are you playing we'd at? We'd be like, right, well, I guess I can just go then. Yeah. It's fucking lunchtime. See, I was, um, I just, I didn't fight back. No, oh, you And didn't. I still don't really. Well. I don't fight authority. I don't know. I'm having a pretty hard time holding you down. Yeah, but you're not authority, are you? I'm a nervous. Yeah. See, this is what I mean. You keep forgetting this. Yeah, maybe. I suppose. <laughs> um, no, I'm. I'm. Uh, you keep me in check. Yeah. There's only so much you can do with me. Yeah. At home. That's true. Maybe I'll try the corner thing. Just put me in the corner. Yeah. Close the door. Yeah. And if you just <laughs> fucking stand there and shut up for forty-five minutes, oh my god, yeah. that would be bliss. I was there for ages. <laughs> I remember a kid came past. I was like, mate, what time is it? I haven't had it. Is there any teachers around? <laughs> Why did you just leave? What age were you? Ten? Why didn't nine? you just walk out and go, uh, I think she forgot about me? Because I was scared. I, was, I tell I you. I was so scared of the teachers growing up if when I, at my that school. that had happened to one of your boys, we would have been furious. Oh, yeah. I would have kicked I'd right have off. been straight and up And they were school. a little bit. There was a teacher that found me and, and they were sweating a little bit. Yeah. So I'm like, fuck, he's not had any lunch. Yeah. That's no good. No. Um, but yeah, I was just a little boy. But I, I was just, I, I didn't really, people felt sorry for me as a kid as well. Right. I used to get a lot of free stuff. <laughs> people would see me and they gave me stuff for free. Why? I don't know. I remember, um, because <clears throat> I'm, I'm a little sort of, I love musical theatre, don't I? Yeah. Again, same sort of age. Um, I went to see Oliver. Um, in the West End right. as a kid and my mum went right you stand here I'm going to go to the toilet Right. I went alright okay she went don't move I went alright the... stood there for a little while um, she came back I had a little sort of um, neckerchief thing um, a mug and like a hat or something <laughs> and some sweets <laughs> because she stood me next to the like the gift shop right and the person just felt sorry for me <laughs> Just go, she was like, where, did, where have you got all this stuff from? I went, I don't know, that man over there gave it to me. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah, no, Jesus. yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, now that I think about it. Um, Would you like a mug? I remember uh, it happened to me once at a train station. Because, um, you know, you, you say it's mental, but I was like getting on the tube and stuff at like a really young age. Yeah, that is mental. There was one time when I was... Um, you were going into London when you were like... What were you, 10? Yeah. That's nuts. I there was one time when um, I think I was maybe 11, but right. I, I looked quite young for my age. Mm. I was quite like Harrison a yeah, little bit. Yeah, as, as you like, like to keep saying. Exactly. And um, I was at the, I think I was at Croydon, Croydon East or something like that. I was coming from my nan's into central London to meet my mum because that's where she worked. Right. Um, it must have been during like the summer holidays or something like that. Right. And... Um, I was on the, waiting for, and I'm, you know, I can, I know how to get trains and stuff. And like, I was so on it as a kid. Mm. Um, just some woman come up to me and went, what are you doing here? Are you, where is your mum? Like saying on this, yeah. I was like, oh, no, nothing. I'm fine. I'm all right. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm about to get a train. I'm going to meet her. I'm, I'll go like to be three fair, or four stops. And if I'll I be... saw a little 10 year old at a train station, yeah. I don't think I would have, approach him but I would keep my eye on him I would be a bit like well, I wouldn't I mean Jude's 10 I wouldn't let him get a train Jesus no I, know. I don't know I just I just um different times I guess it was different times I mean I don't think I would have been allowed to get a train into Glasgow when I was 10 by just, myself um, I mean I definitely wouldn't I just I just was all right with stuff 
Yeah. I could just... Well, you fucking had to be. Like, even with mates and stuff like that, we'd we get the bus to places and things and it was just yeah i got the uh, bus it, but not at 10 i think probably yeah, no, the first I time i got like the normal bus like to go into town or whatever my pals was probably 14 15 yeah i suppose i don't know but it means that I've, i i grew up you're a man of the world I grew, so, yeah. no no I, I, I just grew up you're really looking, looking after myself yeah you're independent yeah what happened then when you met me <laughs> right um, oh, I've got something. So, you know, your, uh, your now famous list of people that annoy you. Yeah. So the past three days. By the days... way, this, this list, I do appreciate that. I, I will hold my hands up and say I am the most annoying person on the planet. I should be on everyone's list. Yeah, we There are... should be a separate list. We already all here's, know that. Here's the type of person that annoys me, James Buckley. <laughs> That's like... Right, but the past three days, and this is the only reason I'm bringing it up. Go on. Is because it's happened consistently. Yeah. I've been stuck in traffic. Yeah. I don't know what's going on at the moment. It's been really traffic There's lately. Some... I've been stuck in traffic, right? And this keeps happening to me and it drives me insane. Mm -hmm. That I'm always behind the person who wants to leave a big fucking gap. Yeah. And I, I hate <clears throat> that and i bet you it's a yeah because then other people merge in and you're going well you, you not even that no, but, but you're thinking like first of all i know it doesn't make that much of a difference no no right? no, no but it does but it is really it annoying does, even like two miles back from the traffic there's a roundabout back there yeah. and if you just keep moving up more people will be able to keep yeah. moving but also but i just hate not being right up in the queue yeah i hate it but also um those people that leave those bit, that big gap because they're like, well, we're not travelling very far. Yeah, oh. That's their thought. We're not travelling very far, are we? So I'll just slowly um, catch up with whoever's in front. You're going to be letting other people come in. Well, yeah, if you're at, uh, if you're and then, at a bit, And then yeah. you end up getting... Further you, you back. Just, what, if you do that forever, you'll never move. Yeah. yeah. So I'm with you there, mate. I hate no, it. I get it, that like, a lot. it gets me, like, hot. Yeah. Like I'm really? in the car, yeah, <laughs> and I'm so angry. No. Have you ever seen the film Crash? No, I've not seen it. Is that the film where they get um, all turned on about what? car crashes? <laughs> yeah, there's this film. What? I've not seen it. It's got that bloke in it from um, oh, what's his name? He's brilliant. Um, oh, his name. What else oh, has he been in? No, not Matt Dillon. Um, is it? Uh, he was in like was he in Twin Peaks and? The thing that Twin Peaks was that not? Um... That's him. That's Kyle him. McLaughlin. Oh, yeah. he was in Sex in the City. Right. Whatever. I don't know. I didn't watch that. But um, yeah, there's He's this film crash. You don't love Sex and the City. I've never seen a second of <laughs> Sex in the City. Go on. What's your point here? No, I'm just saying you should watch Crash. What? Uh, but when I said I, I get I've hot, not, I've not seen it. I but it's about mean... a group of people that like really get turned on about car that crashes. That sounds absolutely mental. I'm not. I'm not surprised that nobody's ever heard Am it. Am I wrong? Has anyone seen it here? I don't know what you mean. They, is it right? The film is, and I think they sort of why they sort of manoeuvre so that they get into car crashes what? and stuff, and then they end up having sex or something. Right, that's too weird even for this podcast. <laughs> No, well, I didn't mean I get hot as in, I mean, I get so angry. Yeah. And I'm right up their ass, trying to make my point. That's not, everything you just said then <laughs> is. <laughs> you know what I mean? I you... With my car. Right, okay. With the Stang. With the Stang, uh, yeah, you're driving the Stang at the moment. Yeah, I am, yeah. yeah. That back end keeps slipping away from me. You've got. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me. That is dangerous, that car. Everything just sounds sexy to me right now. <laughs> well, calm down. Sorry, I'm getting hot. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, what, no, but what the those fuck are we people, talking about? <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start my own list. So you've got a list and I've got a list. Yeah, everyone's got a list. Yeah, but those people... Again, let us know your lists. Yeah. At In Sickness and In Health Podcast. Yeah, if you get any good ones. And I Because I'm sure they'll be on. <laughs> IS, at sick, In Sickness, A-I-H... At spirit dash studios dot right co uk dot com. dot com right thank god thank god nearly we got the right, dot com at right. least right okay so nothing else to moan about 
Oh, I don't think I, I don't think I've moaned at all. Oh, no, you haven't. No, you were just talking about what a poor little soul you are all yeah. the time. Yeah, you love that, don't you? You love getting sympathy. Yeah, you do. I, I thrive off it. You yeah. do. You what? The sorry. Mi- thrive. Good. The minute I get a bit of sympathy from you, I'm like, oh, you get what God. from me? Sympathy. Good. Can't help where I'm from. The T H is with the F. They're on my list. They're on you. Yeah, you hate those. I cannot then. stand people who say F yeah, instead of T H. Right. Right. What was um, what was our vow of change last week, Claire? It was for me to stop embarrassing you in public. Yeah. What you, I don't actually think you've done. Wait, hold on, because we were out on Wednesday. I'm trying to think. Yeah, because I do it all the time. You weren't embarrassing me on in public, but you were. You were getting annoyed at me. Because I was not reacting to the shit you were talking. Oh, that was right. Yeah, that was annoying. And then we I nearly. Was trying to hold we, a, right, hold I was on. trying to hold some conversation hold, with you. I was getting on. nothing. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, go on. We were out on Wednesday. Yeah. We were on our way to do a podcast. Yeah. In. We were in the Vauxhall sort of oval area. Right. Yeah. And there'd been some silence. You just, you're just so, you just want to interrupt me so much that you interrupted me there with nothing of, it didn't mean anything. I'll, I'll carry on talking. Go on then. Well, we were in that, we were in the sort of, we but were just But the point I was going to make there. was we were about to do a podcast. Yeah. And we have to sort of be on good terms to make a good podcast. We were, we were guests on somebody else's podcast. Yeah. And all you done was just piss me off. Why? What did I do? Because you were having a go at me. I didn't have a go at you at all. You were? You weren't. We were walking. It was a good sort of five to seven minute walk from the tube station. Yeah. So I thought, I'll fill this with some conversation. Well, don't. About (laughs) fucking peace and quiet for five minutes. We were walking along and um, we were, anyone from sort of South London will know these type of buildings that I'm talking about. They're these big sort of um, flat buildings full of flats with the white windows in them and um and I, we were walking past a block of them and i just went to claire oh um because my the, i had a load of family that grew that grew up in uh, that lived in peckham when i was growing up like my aunts and my cousins and stuff and my uncles and um and i went oh my my cousins used to live in a flat like that in peckham that was like a council estate mm. I was like, this is boring. The fucking I, second and time round. And, and I was going, I was going to you. Probably, you know, one of those flats probably costs more than a house nowadays. Mm-hmm. In that. And I was just looking for some. All I was looking for was an. Oh right. Yeah. Didn't get anything. I didn't. So I was say like, it. all right, I'll carry on walking. See if I can think of anything else. Now there was your sign. And then we saw the was it the MI5 building, um, just down the road. And I went. James Bond works there. Mm-hmm. That's the MI5 building yeah. right there. And I went, right? No, you didn't. You didn't even say anything. I did say I went... something to that one because <clears throat> because the first time when I didn't see anything, you went, let me know if I'm boring you, Claire. Well, I'm and just I went, what to... do you want, uh, Danny? I'm just fucking walking. I know, but just to know. Yeah, really. Right, but it was the interesting. That was interesting. It was the... You don't find it interesting that an ex-council flat in London... No. Right? I don't where, care. Where 20 years ago, 30 years ago... I don't it was, care. It would have been a rundown sort and of And this is your problem. Estate. It doesn't matter what now, MD says, you now, keep talking. You'd have to, now you'd have to spend about two million just to be able to look at the place. Right, so we can't afford it. I'm not saying that we can't afford it. I'm saying it's wrong. <laughs> Those houses were built for people to... You can't right, afford a house. fine. But I was just walking and you got, you got but this mad is it. This is the discussion. This is the discussion that we have. Right, but here's the thing, though, right? We were about to go in and do a podcast. Yes. And I was like, let's just get let's there. Let's not talk to each other until we get to Wow, well, the- a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Fucking talk to you all the time now, man. Do you know what I mean? Just sometimes. I was, sh- I was just, listen, I'm not saying it was great conversation, but someone had to say something. Right, no, but you don't. We're not I'm not going to walk day. there in silence with you. Well, right. I know what my vow of change is. I don't even know. <laughs> Shut up. But that wasn't embarrassing. Up. I didn't embarrass you. No, no, no. Oh. I didn't. I said you didn't embarrass me, but you you had a go at me for no wanting to. I didn't uh, have a for go no, at you. For not being impressed by all your information. But just a sort of, even just a, not just a noise. Even just a, you know, you, that, you'd probably, that was a council flat a few years ago. It probably cost you about a million and a half now. Just a, huh. 
Just I'm do pretty that. sure I did do that. No, you didn't. You well. were walking as if I w- didn't, as if I was a ghost. <laughs> it was like I was a spirit. <laughs> but my vow of change. Do you remember what mine was? What you asked well, me to do? Let me read it. Um, to make sure. That's not what I said. I oh, said, yeah, do yeah. you remember? To make sure your knickers are removed from your trousers before wearing. Sounds have you, have you ridiculous. Ma- have you managed that? Well, listen. I don't go out weigh them in it I always feel it but there there was a little stray sock the other day in my joggers again I took it out before I left the house right. though okay yeah but I don't, I don't know what it is I love it I, I can't wait to hear I want for the people who are listening to this to get back to me on that I'm hoping that happens to other people because when I said it everybody in here was like no I don't do that I, was like, oh, I yeah. think it's because I don't know I think people wear <laughs> I think people wear like clean clothes and stuff. Mines are clean. No, I know. Listen, I'm with you. I'm talking about. I'm the exact about, same. I'm uh, the right. exact same with you. I've been wearing the same jogging bottoms all week we for don't, the school run. We don't. That's what I was going to say. It's the school run. I chuck on some joggers in the morning because then I got to come home and get changed. Yeah. Because then I'm doing this or doing yeah, that yeah, or whatever. Yeah. It's just my school run stuff, and that'll do me the whole five days. Yeah. And if you pretend that's not all right. You're a liar. I sometimes I drop like the kids off to school and stuff, and I'm like, people must just think I've never I'm washed in smelly. my life. I mean, yeah, they, I mean they're not half wrong, but <laughs> I know, like yeah. I do turn up Monday to Friday. I will yeah. be in the same clothes. I know, but I, no, I rec- <laughs> I rectify it at home time because by then I've been out, I've been doing what I'm doing, I've maybe even got a little bit of makeup on sometimes, and yeah. then I come home. So. I'm hoping people are like, oh, she does get changed at some point. No, Just not I'm usually moment. wearing the same clothes by yeah. that point. Because right. even if we have been out, I'm like, get these, as soon as we, like you today, do. as soon swap. as we get home, I'll be like, get these jeans off. Yeah, you swap before you do the school Yeah, run. I do. <laughs> right, uh, moving on. We are going to have a little bit of train etiquette. Mm. And I'm happy about that because recently it's been a lot of planes and... Talk about, yeah, train etiquette, Claire. Oh, yeah. Um... Good etiquette this morning. Pack train, busy train. <gasps> yeah, they did, yeah. Pack train, and I'll busy tell you train. who it was. It was the old man in the middle. Good for him. Got everybody to move up. Sounds like a book. The old man in the middle. Um, nursery rhyme, isn't it? No, me he and Claire got on this pack looking. train and there was two, it was like, well, how would you describe it? A booth. The, the, sort the, of the seats that face seats. each other, the yeah. three and three that face each other. Yeah. yeah. And there was um, one right in the corner and then one in the middle yeah. and I went to you oh you t- we can get in there there's two seats there we can get yeah. in there and um He's, they they moved they all moved up they one. shifted up so we, we just, sat at the edge we just sat on it so we didn't have to climb over anyone it was a beautiful anyone. little moment wasn't it it, it was it really and to was. be fair, we were like oh, thank you thank you so much I know. thank you oh yeah. my god thank, i think the must have thought all right come down they must have they must listen to the podcast <laughs> maybe they were scared to get yeah. mentioned we bumped into someone that listens to the podcast on the way in didn't we yeah did yeah. Yeah. And um so we were walk- both walking both walking down the together. Both, both walking down the street. James, loving the podcast, mate. No, that's not that's, it was even worse than that. What was it? He went, I'm loving your podcast, oh, that was mate. It. I'm loving your podcast, mate. And then we walked we took about two we took about two or three steps and then Claire went, I'm fuck it, I'm right here. <laughs> I was like, I'm fucking I in and off. I went, come on. <laughs> yeah. So if that was you, thank you for listening, but come on. <laughs> Right, train etiquette story, you ready? Yeah, you better read this. I will read it. Because I can't do the accent. (laughs) Okay, yeah, I've seen it. Hello, James and Claire. When I was listening to your podcast and the stories about train etiquette and how to manage the situation, this story came to my mind, so I thought I would share it. I'm from Glasgow. And when I was younger... Glasgow. Glasgow. I'm from Glasgow and when I was younger, my mum would take me and a friend to the caravan in the summer holidays and it was usually to Flamingo Land near Scarborough. You know that? I've heard of it. Yeah, right. carry on. She loved these holidays so much that it ended up a few neighbours nearby would book at the same time so there would be a few families going, oh, that's proper 90s that's stuff, it. isn't it? That's it. Everyone knows each other. That's it, yeah. yeah. Love that. Uh, the journey was usually on two or three different trains and you were sometimes pressed for time getting from one platform to the next. The platform for the next train was always quite far and there wasn't a lot of time to make the next train. So us and a few neighbours were trying to get off at this stop and an English woman... Oh, God, where are you going with this, pal? 
And an English woman had piled all her suitcases and bags up at the door so we couldn't get out the door. No, it's not on. My mum asked her, I just, I, just, I just like that she specified that she was English. <laughs> My mum asked her to move uh, them. Stir things up yeah, a bit, sure. <laughs> yes. My mum asked her to move them and she refused. She said that we should go along the train to the next door. Now, there was obviously a few of us and all our luggage, so she was being unreasonable. Her and my mum started arguing and my mum said to her, if you don't move your cases, I'll move them for you. The woman was telling her not to touch her bags and was still refusing to move so my mum being a woman that didn't take anyone's shite just pressed the button to open the train door and booted all her hero. suitcases onto the Absolute platform hero. we all just got off the train bolting to get the next one and left her there with her bags all over the uh, platform oh brilliant what I want to know from you is, do you think this was a good way to deal with bad train etiquette? And that is from Lindsay in Glasgow. It's the perfect way to deal with it because I tell you something. <laughs> Listen, if you she's not going to fucking the, do that again. If you've got the boys, absolutely good for you. Yeah, some heroes. <laughs> yeah, don't and that's, wear capes. That's. <laughs> What I can only imagine... I'd be too scared. I'd be either... too frightened. I'd be playing it out in my head. Yeah. Fantasising. I could just fucking kick all those things <laughs> off the train right yeah. now. So these people were just trying to get off. Absolutely. And they had all their luggage. Yeah. So they, for them to try and then back up on themselves and go to the next door, the doors could have shut and I'll they could have been too late. I'll tell you something. There's a health and safety uh, issue there in is. that as well. If there's an emergency, you've got to go off the train. Yeah. That, to me, though, sounds like... I would assume, right, Lindsay, that it was maybe late 80s, 90s, mid 90s, whatever it was. But that's just like, do you remember those days when nobody had a fucking phone to record you? Yeah. And you just, and your yeah. your mum would just be like, move them or I'll fucking move them. Yeah. <laughs> and that was just the, light, the yeah. way life was. That was it, yeah. Nowadays, you'd be like, Ugh. I want to boot her and bags that's a, on. And that's the problem as well. I think the um, the phones, everyone getting their phone out. Because that's think, what they do. I think a lot of the time it protects the guilty. Absolutely. I think it does as well. Because because nowadays, too... nowadays that woman would be a Karen. People yeah. would go, oh, come on, you could have used another door. Yeah. Come no, fuck it. I don't want to fucking use it. I could I'm use another here. door, but who gives a fuck? Move your bags. You move your bags. You piled them up in front of the door, you in dickhead. In front of the door, yeah. yeah. Uh, all right, calm down. No, she's right. Yeah. I'm with the Karens of the world. <laughs> Not the racist ones. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the ones that do go over the edge. <laughs> but the other ones, the ones that are just proving a point. No, I but I no. See, the one with the bags in front of the door, she's the Karen for me. Do you reckon? Because she's not even getting off at that stop. All she had to do was move a couple of bags to let folk up. I think the Karen is the, can, the I, speak, can I speak to a manager? Yeah, that, well, well, that's the class. The people that take care of it themselves yeah. boot the things. That, they're not Karens. No, I don't booting think so. The, booting the bags off the train. They're yeah. legends. Yeah. They're absolute legends. Now, Lindsay. I would have clapped. We love, we love your more. I would have clapped. I would have stood up and... <laughs> right on. Thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> yeah. Who is your mum, Liam Neeson? Give her a medal. <laughs> Now, well, you want to know, do we think that that was a good way to deal with bad train etiquette? She, Your answer. She ran so we, she walked so we could run. Run? run? Fuck's sake. Your answer's yes. We are very much into She's that. She's brilliant. Lindsay's mum, you're a legend. Well done. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep going. Yeah. Keep doing it. <laughs> Keep doing it for us. <laughs> for the ones that are too scared. For the ones that oh, don't have the courage. <laughs> <laughs> for the ones off the telly that kind of get... Video. I know that's the thing. Bags. I can't do. I can't say anything. I can't. I can't Johnny. have a pop at anyone. No. Food turns up. That's cold and shit. How's your meal? Really great. Thanks. Yeah. Here's a huge tip. <laughs> yeah. Because if you sent it back, you'd be like, on. You'd be on Twitter the next day. Bloke off the television thinks he's special. I don't think I'm special at all. I just want. I just want good service. I want hot food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a good one. I like that. That was proper old school. That you could tell. Brilliant. <laughs> right, we're going to move on to some non-negotiables. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, that's what this that's what this is supposed to be about, but we waffle on about things that annoy us too much. <laughs> but um we actually saw I say we the old team here in sickness and in health. Um the because uh, lots of people do send us messages about stuff mm. and um going off of us moaning about stuff, the people on lists, right? Yeah. So somebody sent in, in fact a couple of people sent in the same group of people, right? That annoy them. Right. People who believe in star signs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're <laughs> right? fucking weird. People who believe in the sort of astronomy, yeah. not, not astronomy, astronomy, astrology. Because I like astronomy. Yeah. Sorry. Ast- and I was actually trying to find the card there because I knew I didn't know the word. Do you know? Um, astrology. Do you know? We were driving around. In Don't a... get onto astronomy. No, no, no. Right. I, I won't. Okay. We, we, drove, we were driving around in America. Right. And there was a like a shitty little building that said Cosmetology College. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. I thought that was to learn how to be a cosmonaut. No. Cosme- which is cosmetic. I think is a, is a Russian astronaut. <laughs> yes, I didn't realise that, but I remember you, you won't remember this. But no, it's always I don't. it's always stuck with me and I was like, Cosmetology? What? There's fucking training astronauts there. <laughs> and you went, it's cosmetology it's to learn how to... Because that's like what it looked like. makeup. That's what it looked like. It looked like somewhere to learn how to do makeup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that would have made more sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. But yeah. I'm just saying, because you've got astrology and astronomy mixed yes. up, which you shouldn't do, because Sorry. one of them's really interesting and based on science. <laughs> and the other one... All is right. based on bullshit. Okay. But I'll let you decide. So we don't I'll let you decide to, which is which. We don't need to uh, ask James how he feels about it. <laughs> Go on. But yeah, so um, on a lot of people's lists of people they don't like is yeah. people who believe in star signs. Mm-hmm. And you do get that thing, and it is definitely more common today. What star sign are you? Why? Yeah. Uh, yeah, imagine if you actually because make they big then, life decisions well, based on so that. So a lot of, and I have seen this, Maybe more in women. Nothing, nothing against women. <laughs> um, but they do sort of say, "Oh, what sign are you? What's your sign?" And then when if are we the other make per- some nothing against women t-shirts. <laughs> and then if the other person says, "I don't know, Aquarius," then they're like, "Oh, we're not compatible. Can't, can't do it. My moon rising <coughs> conflicts with your sun. Can't do it. Yeah, shitting. Uh, like I, don't, I mean." Yeah, I don't know. It'd be some some bloke who's like maybe got his own business or something like that, yeah. and um, he's like, "Oh yeah, as you see, I'm a Pisces." Yeah. No, 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 no. Hey, there's nothing wrong with Pisces. Oh, is that you? <laughs> see, I don't know. I couldn't. Do you not even know? No. You don't know what Harrison is, or Jude? don't know what Harrison is. I know what Jude is because he's the same as me. Which is Leo. Harrison's a Scorpio. But I'll tell you what. Right, the funny thing is when. And this has actually only happened with Harrison. When By the I way, read... I was shaking my head and shrugging a lot then, which I realised won't work on an audio <laughs> podcast. <laughs> I was just like, shrugging. When I care, read about Scorpio, yeah. it is Harrison to a T. Just right. like... Let me stop you there, Claire. Bit mouthy. Let me stop you right there. In too fact, annoying. In fact, I've got our star Harrison's signs here. Harrison's by the way. He's a beautiful So um, Claire is Pisces. Um Pisces possess many positive qualities such as empathy, creativity, and adaptability. They may also face challenges such as sensitivity, escapism, and indecisiveness. Right? Right. James Leo uh, are known for their confidence, generosity, and leadership qualities, but they may also exhibit traits of stubbornness and a need for attention. No, the the last one got you there. Right. See, the thing is, though... Is, so what are you saying? I'm not empathetic or creative or sensitive. No, everyone fucking is. These are so fucking generic. <laughs> if I would have read you those back, uh, in fact, that's what I wish I'd have done. Read Leo for I would, me. I, I would have gone, yeah. yeah. And you would have gone, yeah, yeah, no, that's That's that. me. Because, <laughs> because cause everyone is. We all have all of these traits because well, we're human know. beings. I don't know. To be fair, we can all be stubborn. We can all want a bit of attention. No. We can sometimes feel confident. We can sometimes feel insecure. The Pisces... We're complex, interesting uh, organisms. Are we? I. And this. The Pisces this one sounds like a bit of a drip. I don't want to be that. Why? What's your problem with it? They may also face challenges such as sensitivity. 
What escape? does that mean? That I don't sentence? know. I don't even Escapism? know what that means. What does that mean? Uh, it's like Harry Houdini. <laughs> yeah. Like you wouldn't be able to get out of a straight jacket. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's all bollocks, Claire. Okay. Okay. It is all bullshit. So, um, well, the the next question it's here. It's based on, no, on could, nothing. Let me ask, let me ask you the question. The next question yeah, is: go on. Do you believe in star signs slash astrology? I do actually. Do you? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. quite open to it. I'm very, uh, <laughs> very yeah. deeply invested. Right. Well, here's the question then: Could you be with somebody who no. really believes in star signs? No. Why? What harms it then? Because it would become really annoying. Because it would be like it's the because 30th it's, of July. It's this, when the it, sun is no, it's rising. When, it's when people, when big life decisions come up, and they decide to use star signs to to. I'd be like, no, that no, just don't worry about the star sign. What should we do in this situation? <laughs> but the problem is, you don't know. But you might, you like I was saying know. earlier, you might. You you say you're on the dating scene. You're a young lady on the dating scene because let's face it, it is women. Nothing against women. And um, you, you don't find a lot of men asking what you're saying. No, you day, don't. And if you do, you, <laughs> it's because they're trying to have it off. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what that is. But you know, say you're on the dating scene, and there's a, a partner there, like good, steady job, seems really friendly, great sense of humour. But don't maybe think, they're the wrong star sign. Right, I don't you think go, no, people we're not would compatible. Do, I don't think they would do that. I think they do. I don't think they would. I think they do. Claire. I think they would just say, oh, and then like, there's some, I don't know, drug dealer, <laughs> gangster or something. And they oh, go, yeah. and they go, well, we're the same star sign. <laughs> and then, you know, you end up in prison because well, you've been recruited to be in a mule. Okay. Jesus. I'm just saying, be careful, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, some... And if you do meet a man that's interested in star signs, also be careful. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, some people believe the sun, the moon, and star placements can affect their lives. Mm -hmm. So let me listen to this, right? A study in 2013 found that it took people five minutes longer to fall asleep and they spent 30% less time in a deep sleep during a full moon. Yeah. Right. Well, that's... Yeah. That, right. Well, well, let me just debunk this for you, Claire. Well, no, I'm not debunking anything, but that's based in science. So there'll be... so the, right, you know, but the full moon's yeah. got something to do with it. Yeah. No, it's not the moon, it's the sun. The sun's got something to do with it. You're getting more... Sun wasn't mentioned. No, but the, the moon, the only reason you can see the moon is because it's reflecting light off the sun. So if there's a full moon, you're getting a little bit more sunlight than you would normally of an evening. And that's probably what will make you stay awake a little bit longer. There's always, there's, there is reasonable <laughs> okay, well, what reasons behind, behind, I'm not going to say it's because of the positions and stuff. No, it's because you're getting more, whatever the sun gives you that keeps you awake. Right. Well, what about this then? Women's periods syncing up if they live together. Yeah. So a lot of people believe that this is to do with the moon. Right. I don't know how. Yeah, so what's... I don't know what the moon's got to do with that, but... I can't just take that sentence. I'm going to need but some kind of... periods do sync up. That right. does happen. Yeah. Me and you. Exactly. <laughs> when we first started living together... Yeah, you were, we you were, were the beginning for of the, the tampons. <laughs> <laughs> and it has also been said, right, that the because the moon influences the ocean tides on Earth, it mm. can also raise and lower emotional tides in human beings. So, for example, full moons make you crazy. Well, there is something in that. Oh. I think if you spoke to like a doctor or a nurse that works in A&E or something, I think um, the time of the month where there's a full moon, right? there's a lot more accidents and a lot more people coming into A&E, accident and emergencies. Right. Because What's of the full moon. Just because the light's reflecting in the rear no, view I don't mirror. Know. I don't know. There'll be, there'll be some kind of lot. It won't be because uh, you're a Pisces. There will be some reason behind that. Okay. Um, but that's it. That's why, you know, that's why they, lunar, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, that's why it's called a lunatic asylum. It's something to do with the full moon does affect people's mental states. There's, so been, then... there's been some observation there. There'll be a reason for it. You can observe it and go, oh, isn't it weird how there's a full moon and people have accidents or people are a bit more crazy at I'm this gonna time. Start, I'm going to start using that. Like if I'm, if I'm having like a really 
weird day or I'm just mm. a bit on edge or whatever, I'm just going to be like, must be a full moon. Maybe look into it. Maybe when it gets evening, maybe look and see if there's a full moon. I'm not joking. I know you think I'm taking the piss. Yeah. But there, there has been, it's been observed statistically. Right, so you either believe in it or you don't No, then, but there'll be, there'll, be, there'll be some natural scientific reason behind it. That the moon affects people. I just don't believe in no, no, no. I get Pisces that the Pisces possess sign. positive qualities such as empathy, creativity. I think well, we all obviously. have. No, but <laughs> I think we all have that. We all yeah, have yeah, yeah, no, all of the but, qualities. Right, so, but you believe in the moon and the sun affecting humans? It has to. That's why we sleep at night. That's what is evolution. That is. What? Why are you, no, why are you just I'm smiling listening. at me? I'm because you're. Talking? And the moon does affect the tidal wave. The, the t because the moon. Yeah, but then does, the, the does moon, that affect the, moon, the tidal wave in humans? I don't know about that. But the but it is fascinating that the moon stretches the earth. Okay. So where the moon. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Where right, right. the moon is, whatever position the moon is near, near the earth, it is sucking water towards it. Okay. And that's what makes the tides go out. And then by the time it gets around the other side, the, it, the tides get let back in again. Right. That's interesting. That's yeah, science. That That's is really, interesting. That is really interesting. But this is in sickness and in health, not astronomy 101 with James Buckley. Well, so I'm just saying, we... I love all that stuff, but it's just a shame that it's been hijacked by, for want of a better word, lunatics. <laughs> <laughs> women. <laughs> Nothing against women. Right. I like women. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I think we should move on. Yeah, yeah, I feel like. Because we've got, um, we do have a good marital mayhem. So It's marital mayhem time. Marital mayhem. I'll read this one, Claire. I'll give you a little break. You can put those down and drink your beer. All right. Um, hi, or should I say hey, because that's what's written. James and Claire. Spat everywhere. <laughs> this is you're going, you're, this is you're going well, really man. getting on my nerves. Sorry. Getting right on my Sorry, I am being a bit annoying. Um, hey, I don't say hey, I say hi. Just read that hey, man. Hey, James and Claire, my marital mayhem isn't necessarily to do with me, but with my best mate's relationship. Nah. Me and my mate have been friends for over 10 years and have stayed close throughout both of our various girlfriends and flings. He's been dating this girl for the last six months and it seems like things are getting serious. But the issue is, I can't stand her. She's a right bore when we're out, and if she's not sitting there with a stick up her ass, she's nagging him about really mundane things. And every time we are out as a group, she always tries to get him to leave early, even when they've just arrived. I don't know whether to tell him how I feel, because it's rare his relationships last this long. Mm. Um, so cautious <laughs> of fucking this up for him. But she's a bit of a nightmare. And I feel like I'm losing my best mate. Well, I've got, you know I got news for you, mate. You Can are, I tell you something? You are she doesn't like you. She, you, are lo you are losing your best mate because he's moved to a different stage of his life where he just, just doesn't want to fuck around anymore. <laughs> and um, he wants to, to grow up. maybe start a grown-up relationship yeah. and live with someone and have listen, kids Listen, you can and... listen, right. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll be a bit more... On the and playing the, field. And the irony is, is that when this person gets to that stage, yeah, that it'll be fine. It'll yeah, be fine yeah, then. yeah, because it's different. It'll be all right then. Because he likes his. Yeah. The thing is, right, if she's like that every single time, then fine. But to me, all I heard was that she doesn't really like you or his, and his friends. And if she's not having a good... Well, she shouldn't go then. If she doesn't want to be there, she shouldn't go. Yeah. I don't know. There's yeah. been times like um, I can, especially when we first started going out, we would go down the pub with your pals all the time. Yeah. And I was absolutely fine. But then, you know, when we had maybe like, a, a, maybe when Harrison came yeah. along or I whatever. Just, I just went by myself. It Well, it would be a bit like, <laughs> but I would know. It was fine. I would know that sometimes we took Harrison. Sometimes, you know, we would have a little day out or yeah. whatever. But I would know. I don't fancy it. Yeah. Like, maybe, whatever, Harrison's not feeling very well. I know I'm going to be up early. Whatever, whatever. I wouldn't go. There's no point in going. So to be on his side for a minute, yeah. right, 
she shouldn't go if she's going to sit there and complain the whole time and want to leave straight away. Yes, yeah, she, she yeah. shouldn't go. No, she should annoying. let him have time yeah, to leave pals. Yeah. However, if she's only there sometimes, mm. right? Let's say she does let that happen, and anytime she is there, she's a bit quiet. She's not really. I think she doesn't like. So how how, how is he? What kind of person is he? Yeah. Is he annoying? Yeah. I do the opposite. I use you as a to get yeah, out of you stuff. I love doing I that. Think, and do you know what? He might be doing the same thing. Here's the thing: all James's mates <laughs> think I'm like whipping, like you be, yeah. but you going out tonight? Absolutely yeah. not, because James can never be asked going out. And anytime he's asked to do something, what do you say? I go a bit of check with her, <laughs> and then I'll have a conversation you with you, and I'll go. Oh, a um, couple of my mates, going, they want to go for a couple of drinks in the afternoon. It's a bit awkward, don't it, timing-wise and stuff, and you know, because uh, I don't know if it's going to work. And, and if you don't want me to go, that's absolutely fine. Like, because, like, you know, the kids are here and stuff, and I don't want to leave you with the kids. And, um, and you go, no, it's fine. No, you should be all right. You'll be able to get there in time. And I go, yeah, but no, but it's, it's a bit, you, you know, want- so if you don't want me to go, then uh, then just let me know because I'm, I'm fine with it. I'll just let them know. I'll catch them on the next one. And obviously any excuse to get fucking James out the house, I'm like, no, go, mate, yeah. you go, you have a great time. But he'll then go back to his friends and go, she's fucking I go, I'd love to, lads, I'd love to, I'd fucking love to come <laughs> and stay out till two o'clock in the morning with you lot. Um, but she's fucking, it, listen, it's, I'd, you know, just, you understand, you, you get it, don't you? Yeah. You use me as an excuse. I think every bloke does. Yeah. I, I can't imagine that there is a couple, a man and a woman, living together where the woman doesn't want him to fuck off. No, I don't think so either. And I think it's become a thing, right, where men... Because I've even seen, like, you know those little, like, Instagram videos where people are making funny videos about, Cabinets, like, baby. things. Yeah, well, we'll get on to that. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's always, like, those skits where it's, like, the guy asking to go down the pub and the wife's not happy and did it. Yeah. And I'm just, like, and even when I look at the comments, it, <laughs> all the women are, like, are you joking? Go. Like, when you go, if I know you're going to, even, like, let's say a Saturday night, oh, I'm, like, right, I can order myself. A, like, a yeah. little, sort the boys out, get them whatever they want. They can, they, that's when, weekend, they can play their video games, whatever they want today. I can get, like, a little... Chinese takeaway for one. I can put on a horror film or The Real Housewives. No matter, and I'm just like, great, yeah. go. Don't come fucking back if you don't yeah. want it. I've got something coming <laughs> up actually. I'm meeting a mate of mine. I don't think he listens, does he? Who? G. No. No, nah, he doesn't listen. So I can bring this up. Um, I, I'm going to meet him for lunch. Yeah. And I was going to see you just on the way in. Yeah. I was going, oh, yeah, don't forget, I'm going to see him for lunch. Um, I'm going to have a few beers and go for a pub lunch with him. Yeah. Um, is that all right? And you were like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like oh, 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 it's a bank holiday weekend though, isn't it? Yeah. I was like, it's probably going to be really busy. I, I doubt we'd even be able to get a table, would we? Yeah. I'll t- um, I'm seeing him tomorrow. Yeah. And I literally went to, I'll talk to him about it tomorrow. Yeah. James loves getting it stuff. Right. But back to this guy's story. I think, What's happened here is, and I think you're right, James, I think your mate is just that little step ahead of you where maybe he prefers spending time with his missus. Yeah, also, of course he does. It's six months, right? Oh, they've only been together six yeah, months? Yeah. Sorry, so, I wasn't listening. I was drinking my so beer. So let's not forget what stage of the relationship it's at. Yeah, they're having I remember, sex all Exactly, the time. our first six months. If I had a mate come to me and go, all you do is hang out with Claire, and I go, why do you... Why do you... <laughs> <laughs> because I'm gonna do I'm gonna do stuff with her that I don't want to fucking do with you, <laughs> and I'm gonna have a much better time doing that. What do you want from me? Oh god! Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So like, if we were in the pub, we'd only be together for six months. And, you, and if you and went, I, if you went to me, you. get your coat, I'd go oh, fucking. Yeah. I'd be running out the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So give him a break. Listen. I get what this guy's saying, though. I get that when change happens... I would say happens, to this bloke, get yourself a girlfriend. No, I know, but just going from his point of view, right, when change happens, you do have to, especially if you are really close, it's his best mate, right? When change happens, sometimes it can be a bit hard and sometimes you're like, oh, shit. 
things are changing. You know, people start getting married and having kids, and you do. You are you are a bit like, oh god, it's you, not the same. I as think it used you are if you're the one getting left behind. That's what I mean. I think if you're the one, maybe that's what I mean. Yeah. And not everybody meets somebody at the exact same time, and he might be finding that a bit difficult. So he did he ask us should he talk to him? Right, here's what I would do. Don't talk to him about no, it. No, I would it'll probably, talk. Uh, it'll probably be over in a couple of months anyway. Either that or the, it'll, you know, it'll fizzle out. You yeah. can't, you don't, it's the honeymoon phase. Exactly, he'll come back. Yeah. But if you do want to talk to him, what I would say is don't blame it on her. And I wouldn't talk to him. No, you can, but no, don't blame don't. it on her. No, just you're opening a can of worms. No, you think not? No. See, I was going to say maybe just go down the route even of, to this very I miss day, you. Even like, to this very day, if someone tried to sort of like slag you off to me. Mm. Yeah, but they don't. All your, fucking... all your pals love me. I don't even think they like me, Claire. <laughs> no, they like me much yeah, better. Yeah, might be, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, w- I, I don't think there's anything wrong with saying... Oh, like, I know you're in love and she's great, but, you know, is there any chance of just staying out for a couple of... No. Guys no? don't talk to each other like that. Do they not? No. Well, then I don't know what he wants for his fucking deal with it then. You're meant to have his... Ba- <laughs> oh, so you're meant to have his back. It's the sixth month right. period Here's of a relationship. Other... Go, okay. just fucking give him a little wink right. and a nod. Are you heard enough early? Good for you. To play devil's advocate, though, what he's saying is that she's really... <laughs> She's boring. Yeah. She's a not. She's got a stick up her ass. Hey, oh. she, <laughs> she's always nagging him. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, James. I don't even want to talk to you. I've already established this. Well, that's it. I try and talk to you, and you nag at me for talking to you. No, I don't. I was happy in silence. <laughs> Jesus. Right. Let's move on. Good luck, pal. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Listen, if he's yeah, your best, much help here, if he's your best pal, he will always be your best pal. If he's not, then also listen. If he's your best mate, sure, maybe you're not with each other twenty four seven anymore. And if she's but if his... he is your best mate, and you don't see him for a while, but you fucking need someone to turn up, he'll, he'll be, be there. there. Yeah, yeah. I've true. got mates like that. I've got mates that I don't I, I don't talk to for lengths of time. Yeah, but they're my best friends. And yeah, sure, I don't see them every single night. But if they call me up mm. into a, at two o'clock in the morning, yeah, I know I'll be there. Yeah. There you go. That's it. There you go. Okay, Claire. Yes, James. We've uh, filled our quota of boring chat. You certainly fucking have. And we need to do a, we need to do a tiny bit more before we end the podcast. And it's time for our vow of change. For the week and um my I'll favorite go... bit. For the weekend. For the week. Oh. And uh I'll I've got one. Oh, have you? I don't think it'll be a problem for you. Right. But I'm just trying to just make sure. Okay. Um that I'd like you to promise to um to vow to not let star signs <laughs> you know <laughs> be be a variable, be a, be a decision maker in, in important decisions that we need to make in our lives. Well, actually, we should look up if Pisces and Leo are compatible. Somebody look that up for me. Is that it then? I want to know. I want to know. You're not going to get me on that. Because I've already You're not got, getting me I've on that. already got a feeling. You're not getting me on I've that. I've got a feeling. You're not getting me on that. We'll stand before a judge. Have we got it? Go on, let's see. Let's see what it says. Are Leo and Pisces a good match with care and cultivation? Yeah, a lot of fucking cultivation. Uh, with care and cultivation, they can make for a pretty remarkable team. That's because both Leo and Pisces are deeply sensitive and emotional beings. Mm. They bet- may express it differently, but they both tune in to the way others feel and they walk through the world feeling everything themselves. Right. <laughs> I don't know what that fucking yeah. means. Right. Now, we ha- we haven't got time but... and I can't, I can't be bothered, but write anything. Write Pisces and Libra and they'll all be like, they can be a good relationship. There won't be one that says they're not. There won't be one. Well, okay. Well, I, that's fine for me. I can promise not to let that affect my decisions. Good. What do you need from me, baby? You've got it. Whatever you want. Um, it's a little actual. It's a sort of throwback to, to the people on your list, the fun fact people. Right. Because I know you put yourself on that list. 
Yes. And my God, do you live up there? Is it this or is it? Yeah, just... yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But I, I'm uh, just you hold your fucking horses there, son. Because okay. you know, constantly you have to be talking to me. You have to be saying something. I like talking. To that you. walk to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like Insufferable. I, I have a conversation with you. But sometimes you don't have to be talking. What I are, get a you thought, don't have I get to a thought in my head and you it do. needs to come out. You are that person. Yeah. You can't you can't see something or think of something without saying it. I can see, I see so much every day yeah. when I'm walking down the street, I'm driving somewhere, and I'm like, oh yeah, and that and da 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 and I'll yeah, put a little I'll put a little sentence yeah. in my head. Don't have to always share it. You By the day. way, I'm not one of those people that just speaks their mind. No, I don't, no, no, I don't like no. those people. No, you just talk shite. No, but I'll see something. I go, oh, that reminds me of a story that happened. Yeah. Yeah, and so I talk, I'll tell you about well, it. Well, I, I don't always need to know it. That's going to be tough for me, that one. Yeah, I know, yeah. As a Leo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, right, so what's my vow? How can I put that into a sentence? Um... I promise from this day, Paul, to never... Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about yours. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll, right, I'll go Stop first. Stop talking then. shite, Timmy. Right. I'll go... Sometimes I'll, silence is golden. I'll go first. I promise from this day forth, I vow to not tell you every single thought that is in my head. Uh, that's it. You've nailed it. I'll explode. That is it. That's what you do. It's everything so that comes many. into your My brain your feet. is like a billion miles an hour. I know. I have so many... I can look at something and, you want and it will a remind me of something else. Every time for me. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, that's going to be a tough one. Well, we never do it. You know, no. Who cares? Luckily, we always forget what vows we make <laughs> to each other, so I probably won't have to stick to it. Uh, go on, you do yours then. I promise from this day forth. I promise from this day forth not to let. Uh, Astrology is it astrology or astronomy? Astrology. Astrology affect any decisions that I make. Brilliant. Thank you. That's the you end. You didn't say yours, right? Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. You made me do the whole. I the said I promise from this day forth I won't tell um, you every single thought that you? goes through my head. Right. Okay. I think that's what I said. Um, anyway, don't forget. Forget. So you've got me panicking <laughs> with the th. James the just now. said forget. <laughs> You got me sweating over these THs. <laughs> Don't forget that you can join us next week where you'll be able to hear whether or not we've stuck to our vows. I'll c cut to the chase now. There's no way I'm going to be able to stick to mine. <laughs> and also don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> I definitely won't be able to stick to mine because sometimes when I know that you're, um, you've, you know, had enough of me, I'll then move on to the boys. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Harrison's getting to that age of the honour where he's like, Shut up. Jude, um, Jude's been like it forever. Jude's never Jude's, been a, Jude's a lovely boy and stuff, but I go, um, I'll tell him something. I'll go, yeah. What do you? So what do you think about that? He'll go, I don't know. I don't know what you want from me, Dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, stop, uh, stop annoying us all. Sorry, seriously. I'm ever so sorry. Um, don't forget to subscribe on all platforms. Putting out some funny videos. And follow us at In Sickness well, and In Health Podcast videos. to take part in our weekly polls and send us any stories, messages or voice notes that you wouldn't tell your partner about. And you can also send us voice notes and messages to our email address, which is isaih at spirit-studios. Studios? Sorry, I was burping at the same time. Uh, dot com. Oh, don't put sorry, I was burping at the same time <laughs> in that. Uh, anyway, all that's left, all that is all. Anyway, the only <sighs> thing that's left now is for Claire to say. See you next Tuesday. Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thank you. Sorry. Sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you.